Many Rensselaer students come to RPI with some form of college credit. While AP, IB, and Cambridge exams may be among the most popular ways people bring in credit, plenty of students bring credits in through colleges as well. Some common program names you might have heard of in your high school for getting college credits include dual enrollment, Project Lead the Way, or SUPA credits. However you might have received them, definitely make sure to send your college credits to RPI. Chances are really good that we can find a way to use them. To get started with this process, there are two main steps. The first is getting your credits to RPI, and the second is interpreting them. First, let's talk about getting them here, because that's easily the most important part. The first thing you need to do to get your college credits accepted is to send an official transcript from the college that sponsored your course. A common mistake students make is assuming that if this class is on their high school transcript, that it will count. That is not enough. If you want college credit, we will need a transcript. As an example, what I'll do is I will show you how to send a transcript using Hudson Valley Community College, which is a local community college here in Troy, as an example. If I search transcripts at Hudson Valley Community College, here we can see more information. You can see the different ways that you can send transcripts here. For instance, there is both online and then in person to request. Here you'll see for Hudson Valley, there are two different ways to do so online. Or if you want to do this in person, only tra transcripts printed and provided directly to the student can be requested through their registrar's office. So after you've requested a transcript to be sent from the college that you are attending or have attended to Rensselaer, the next thing is a bit of paperwork on your end. We will have you fill out what's called a high school certification form. This basically certifies that you are not using the course that you took, um, that you did not use that toward your high school degree. So with that, if it wasn't used for your graduation requirements, you should be able to bring them over to Rensselaer. To certify that, what you'll want to do is have this incoming freshman transfer credit procedure or high school certification form signed by a school counselor, a principal, or a similar individual at your high school. All the information that's required for you to send this over to Rensselaer is listed at the bottom here. After this form is sent to Rensselaer along with your previously sent transcript, from there, those credits should come over to your um, account here at Rensselaer. If you're interested in knowing what your classes may come in as, what we can take a look at here is the undergraduate transfer guide. This guide here lists all of the different schools that we've had students transfer courses in from in the past. For instance, if I want to use Hudson Valley again, what I can do is go to New York. I can go to Hudson Valley at the bottom here. And here you can see all the different ways that classes were transferred in from the past. You will see at the top of the page here that there is a disclaimer. The following undergraduate transfer guide indicates the way courses have transferred to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in the past. This information is constantly being updated and does not substitute for an official evaluation of transfer credit. So with that disclaimer in mind, when we take a look at this list, um, we can see how things have transferred in the past and may likely do so again. However, it is possible that the class may need to be reevaluated to come in. You'll see here also that specific classes come in as non-transferable. Chances are if they were not transferred in in the past, doesn't uh, most likely they cannot transfer in now. However, um, this does have an exhaustive list of the classes that students have brought in from a specific college in the past. If you have attended a school that is not within our guide, chances are that um, a student hasn't taken a class from there previously. So you can always look to get a class evaluated. And to do that, what you'll wanna do is work with the School of Engineering Advising HUD and your advisor in order to get courses evaluated. So 
with that in mind, um, we've gone over how to transfer credits from other colleges here to Rensselaer. If you have any questions about this throughout the summer, you can contact us in the School of Engineering Hub and we're glad to help.